everyone, I'm Stacey Moss and I'm an attorney with the Law Office of Brian Fagan. If you're dealing with child support matters in Texas, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're talking about child support review hearings. Before we begin, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with valuable legal content. Now let's jump in. Child support is a cornerstone of family law that ensures both parents continue to financially contribute to their child's upbringing, regardless of their relationship status. This arrangement is especially crucial when the parents are no longer together but still share parental responsibilities. By legally mandating financial support, child support laws aim to provide for the well-being of the child. Determining the exact amount of child support involves several factors. Those include the incomes of both parents, the specific needs of the child, and the legal framework within the jurisdiction. Courts typically use established guidelines to calculate child support, accounting for income disparities, potential medical expenses, educational costs, and anything else financially relating to the child. Let's put these concepts into perspective with a real life scenario. Meet Sarah and Mike. They have two children, Emma and Alex. They've recently divorced. Mike earns $60,000 annually, while Sarah earns $40,000. Texas uses a percentage-based approach for child support. Let's say the percentage for two children is 25%. The percentage for one child is 20%. This is taken out of the netted annual income. Texas employs a concept called joint managing conservatorship or shared custody. If circumstances change, like significant income shifts or custody adjustments, either parent can request a modification. This flexibility ensures that child support remains fair and align with changing life situations. Now let's take a closer look at what you can expect at a child support review hearing in Texas. During the hearing, both parents or their legal representatives present updated information, including income changes, altered expenses, and any other relevant details. The primary focus is on substantial changes that have occurred since the last child support order was issued. Has there been a shift in income? Are there any new medical or educational costs? The court evaluates whether these changes warrant its modification. The importance of accurate documentation cannot be overstated. Pay stubs, tax returns, medical bills, and any other supporting records help substantiate your claims. Throughout the hearing, the court's main concern is the best interest of your child. Any proposed modifications should align with the child's needs and overall well-being. Should the court determine what a modification is necessary, it will recalculate the child support amount based on the updated information. The Texas Family Code guidelines serves as a reference point for this calculation. However, in some instances, the court might recommend or mandate mediation to facilitate an agreement outside of the courtroom. If successful, the court can then approve and formalize the agreement. After considering the information, discussions, and calculations, the court will make a decision regarding whether to modify the existing child support order. If the modification is approved, a new child support order reflecting the updated terms will be issued. Following the new child support order, both parents are expected to adhere to its terms. The Texas Office of the Attorney General plays a role in enforcing child support orders, ensuring that payments are made as required. Failure to comply can result in legal consequences. Depending on the circumstances, the court may schedule future review hearings to reassess the child support arrangement. This is particularly relevant if changes in circumstances are expected to be temporary or if further adjustments are anticipated. And that wraps up our in-depth discussion on what to expect at a child support review hearing. But please remember, every case is unique and legal guidance tailored to your situation is invaluable. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more knowledge about the world of family law. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both helpful and informative for you. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. So please let us know how we can help you with your family law, estate planning, or criminal defense matters by calling our office today at 281-310-5563 to schedule your complimentary consultation. You can find all of our social media info in the description below. And if you would like to stay updated on all of our videos, events, and promotions, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the notification bell.